Right, this is a quick lecture on homomorphisms, and this is good for group theory if you're doing that, because I have difficulty with that one. Right, first off, a homomorphism is basically a map from one group to another group. Um, so it can go from like, the reals to reals, which is usually the most general case, but here we're using, we're going from G to G prime, and they are our two groups. And we've got this function phi, which is mapping between G and G prime. And then if they map, uh, it's a homomorphism. And this is, um, <clears throat> and we can prove this by saying that phi of AB equals 5A times 5B, and 5A plus B is 5A plus 5B. Also, if it's bijective, as in each element maps to, so you've got... Um, Say on ten elements in G, ten elements, ten elements in G prime, every element would map to a different element. That would make it bijective. So that would be an isomorphism, which I might do a video on. Right, we've got two examples. This is the first one. Uh, we want to prove that phi from A to B is a homomorphism. Now, phi of A is defined as the modulus of A. So, of course, to prove it, that it's a homomorphism. We just have to do the multiplication of it. So phi of AB is the modulus of AB, which can be split up again to modulus of A times modulus of B, which is therefore phi of A times phi of B. So we proved that, the, that you can multiply them. And we also need to prove that you can add them. So we have phi of A plus B is modulus of phi of A plus B, which is, again, equal to modulus of A plus the modulus of B, which is 5A plus 5B. So we've proved that one, not too bad at all. And another example, which is our final one, we've got two homomorphisms, phi from A to B, and I can't remember what that's called, we'll call it sigma, from B to C. We want to prove that if we combine them, uh, that this is a homomorphism. So sigma composed with phi from A to C, as we have some look, uh, A, B, B, C is a homo homomorphism, where we've defined this as sigma composed with 5G is sigma 5G. So again, we have to do multiplication. So again, instead of G, we've put A, B, and this can be split up to here, just by following the simple, what they've given us there. And because we know that phi is a homomorphism, we know that this, phi of AB, must be equal to 5A times 5B, because of, uh, in order, if it, if it didn't, then it would be a homomorphism. And so, because of this, we can split up, because we know sigma is a homomorphism, we can split this up further, uh, from this up to here, sigma 5a times sigma 5b, which is equal to, if we look at this, uh, sorry, if we look at here and here, we can compare them, and we get sigma composed with 5a times sigma composed with 5b, so it's, you can multiply them. And now we need to do addition, so sigma composed with 5a plus b is Again, we can put it into this form which they've given us here. And because it's a homomorphism, it means we can add them. So 5a plus b will be equal to 5a plus 5b because it's a homomorphism, remember? And if we follow on again, because sigma is a homomorphism, which we've told here, remember, then this can be split up again into addition. So here and here, which is equal to the com composition here and the composition there because of this little rule here. So we've just proved that that is a homomorphism as well.